But the topic enhancing equity and access to higher education, addressing disparities and striving for inclusion really seems to describe the spirit of the man. And uh, so thank you very much for turning up. We want to especially thank our keynote speaker, Professor Pamaga, Pamagamba John Aidan Kabudi, who will be with us online. Thank you very much uh, for coming. And uh, we are looking forward to listening to what you have to say. Our esteemed guests and cherished students and members of our academic community, today we come together to honor the legacy of the late Professor Tambidweki. We come together to honor the legacy of the late professor. And that legacy for us here today is the UPU. This university that is changing lives. We've heard what the, the alumni have been doing. They've given us a few names that stand out, but they are all over the country. They're out there, uh, you know, uh, doing their work. And yet maybe they would never, never have achieved this without him and that vision of inclusivity. Uh, we really appreciate that part of him. Um, as we embark on this inaugural memorial lecture under the theme I read earlier, we find ourselves at a crucial juncture in the pursuit of knowledge and enlightenment. Professor Tambiretti dedicated his life to dismantling barriers that hindered the accessibility of higher education. So in honoring his memory, let us reaffirm our collective responsibility to continue the noble cause of promoting equity and inclusion within our academic community. Uh, the Ministry of Education is here with us. They are striving and we shall hear from, from them when they are ready. But the private sector is here, we are here. Um, what is it that we can do to give access to all and not just the lucky few that can afford? By addressing disparities head on and fostering an environment that embraces diversity, we not only pay homage to Professor Antambiroki's vision, but also pave the way for a brighter, more inclusive future for all aspiring minds. Let this memorial lecture catalyze change, inspire us to redouble our efforts in creating an educational landscape that welcomes every individual, regardless of their background, into the transformative power of higher education. Education is power. Education is the equalizer. Once you've graduated from here, you are no better or no worse than your fellow graduates. It is the equalizer. And Professor Ntambi Rechi really stood for that. He really believed in that. So together, we can build a legacy that honors Professor Ntambi Rechi's tireless advocacy for a truly equitable and accessible education experience. I want to particularly thank my sister, Pelosi Ntambi Rechi, we worked together. I was chairperson of Uganda Women's Efforts to Save Orphans, and I had the most wonderful executive director. She truly was. You haven't seen anything yet, <laughs> Madame Lumonia, because she was it. We traveled. We, went, we traveled many places. We saw many things. I learned so much from her. And then she went on to the UN and has been all over the world. And now, guess what? She's standing in the steps of that big man. <laughs> Pelosi will need all our support. I want to hear from all of you. At no point are you going to let Pelosi down and therefore John Tamburoki down. So let us move our university as high as it. He wanted it to go by not being discriminating. Let's allow the ones who need the education to also get it. The ones who can afford it can also come. And so we welcome everyone because this is a university that equalizes everyone. So thank you very much. <laughs>